<laughs> the music isn't quite the calm and inviting music that it usually is. It's a bit more weird and hostile and psychedelic, and that's because the thing we're doing today is weird and hostile and psychedelic. We are playing Hylix today, which I'm very excited for. And like I said in the announcement in the um, announcement post, unfortunately, I just combination of poor planning and just things kept uh, cropping up my time. I wasn't able to finish uh, To the Moon in time, but that's fine. I'll just do the what I can only assume is the last episode tomorrow, and then whatever. It'll work out. But yeah, let's head on over. I think which like which um. I don't have anything set up because I'm very professional. Let me just get a, a window capture going. Hey, detected it. Nice. All right. Well, this music is... Hang on. I gotta turn up the volume for this a lot. It's way quieter than I thought it would be. Hey, welcome. And I am going to I am going to read off the dialogue. I got a big thing of Arnold Palmer here, which will sustain me. And keep my voice from going completely dead. Chrome Doom arrogantly destroys the hopes. The people render thanks to his science. It is an it is an ocean, a mist of passion. It is sort of a beast above lard. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, sings a being below the massive product corrosion. Thus your story begins. Uh how to best describe it. This is an extremely psychedelic game, but the best way I can describe what it's about... It's about the phases of the moon, kinda? There's a lot of things that you could describe this game as being about. It's half a creation story. It's like an explanation for the phases of the moon. It's kind of just weird psychedelic thing. It's great. Hell yeah, Hilux. I can't wait to get humbled as this game kind of as this game whoops my ass because I remember first time I played this this is not uh, the first time I played it to the northeast is the burning city of Debador may its government endure 10,000 10,000 may its government endure 1,000 years first time I played this I missed a lot like I missed I don't think I missed any areas but I missed an entire party member <laughs> I just made it, somehow made it to the very end of the game, completely missing a party member that is apparently the best one in the game. So, oh yeah, he, he struts. This, this walking animation is incredible. It's the joy of RPG makers. Sometimes people, sometimes people just make sort of generic generic RPG walk sprites, and sometimes there are people that just do this. It's like Space Funeral is a similar thing, where the walk cycle just looks completely ridiculous and it's great. Even in the overworld it looks great, it looks insane. Also, fun fact, uh, all the- all of like the major nouns and major adjectives are randomized. So if you go watch someone else's playthrough of this, Everything's going to have slightly different descriptions. It's really cool. Um, 
John screw. I mean, I'd I'd have to configure it. So maybe next time I stream, I'll I'll I, I'll try. I'll like I'll Google how to do it. But right now, it's not it's not set up. He thrums amidst thine shriveled jelly. Leather Doom Passions doth sniff the, the delusion. Everyone just speaks in tongues, and it's amazing. Ahead lies Mount Menteith. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. <laughs> it's time to commit horrible deeds. I found my dynamite. I'm just going to turn the volume all the way up because th this music is great and also the game audio is so low. I don't know why. Usually RPG Maker audio is super, super loud. Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? The knight Pongorma is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambulance skulls. He resides on an island to the west, behind a sealed door. When fighting a flesh you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repost. Furnace sciences doth garner, gather our being. Wonderfully soak it above fleshes, far beyond his mandible, far beyond his vacuum. Falsifies the biscuit astride spirit. Papigerous of youthful truth. Okay. <laughs> Do not touch the ambulance skulls, or you will die. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. I am an ocean. I am a televised product. I'm going to avoid combat if I can because uh, I don't have I don't have my party members yet. I'm going to get whomped if I try. to RPG Maker BS at this point. Speaking of RPG Maker BS, um... So there was recently an update to Tuki, and the Delta Judgment worlds were added. And apparently they were real rough. <laughs> like, way more than usual. And that is me scared and excited. So I think what I'm gonna do is next time I play Tuki, I'm just gonna go through. Oh, right, uh, paper cups. Those are just a thing. Oh, this is the weasels guy, right. So, fun fact about this guy, 
this is this isn't the game you'd expect to have references to well anything but there actually is a reference here i won't do it just yet because he's gonna whoop my ass if i actually fight him he's got those weasels yeah it's a good uh, I don't think the art style is 100% claymation, but it's definitely, parts of it definitely are. Visitors are rare. Nice cat. The smoke of evening gland and memories rose like a flabby domicile in the eyes. Okay. Hold on, what was I saying? So, there's that dude that guards the TV with the weasels. When the weasels attack you, uh, the line that, that is shown is, um, the weasels rip your flesh. Which is a reference to Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. <laughs> Which is like super, super, super psychedelic. Psychedelic to the point of being almost unlistenable at times, but hey, that's that's psychedelia for you. Um, I think I'm dead. Maybe not, we'll see. Block that's probably like 20 or 30 on a gar on a non-block. I used the wrong attack. I was thinking of hollow pleather. Oops. Oh well. Death is natural. <laughs> Death is very natural in this game. The general gameplay loop is you get your ass kicked, and then you get your ass, ass kicked again, and then eventually you just get powerful enough that you can just insta-kill almost everything. It's an interesting progression. Sandcastles on the beach. Try using the space bar. Goofy little things. Oh. I never found this guy before. Sure, take the dynamite. What you got for me? I'll let you I'll let you check it out first. A lot of stuff I missed last time I played this. Calibration. Did I see this before? I don't think I did. Awesome. So it's it's charge. Hey Zykev, what's up? We're doing, we're doing some Hylix. This game is ridiculous in a very fun way. So I think I just go, I, I just go to where I was before, and I try and get a little bit further. I think? Um, what's your face? I think Salm's Nosa is in there somewhere, but I don't remember for sure. What is... 
This thing controls the harbor gate. Oh, I see. I'll touch it just to see, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna I'm gonna get killed. Oh, this is the boss, right? The horde projection. I also forgot to heal, but it's nice to see that this is here. I'm fine with just taking an L or two. Because after a few deaths, I'll also get access to a weapon behind the, the door on the right in in the afterlife. So I'm fine just flinging and flinging myself to the wolves a little bit. Amid the lilies floats the moth. The mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. Also, this is that this is that old money um, RPG maker stuff where you can just you can just save anywhere. I think Sam's Nosa is further over on the left, but I'm not sure. Because I believe you you get the harbor and that just that opens up the whole rest of the game because that lets you use the boat. I I can check in a, I can check in a bit. I I forget how old this game is. It's not as old as it looks because a lot of these games are made in RPG Maker. And the version of RPG Maker is probably, like, probably 2000, it's either 2000 or 2003, I don't know which. Probably 2003? Ooh. Oh, right. There's just a whole other thing here. Here's Sam's Gnosis house. <laughs> like that line, it's only a toilet. There's nothing for you here. Beyond this window frame, a phantasmagoric tableau unfolds. And whatnot. Bubbles, that's poison. Pretty good. Oh, hey, Wayne. I left my magic gauntlets in the basement, and now it is infested with amulet skulls. Maybe you could help me retrieve them? I mean the gauntlets. We should avoid the skulls. Nice. Now we have Psalm's Nosa. So let's go. Oh, I shouldn't- I shouldn't interact with those yet. I imagine you can only open those with the respect- when you have the respective party member. Alright, time to die. This is, this is messed up. Ooh. Okay. I'll be greedy and see. Okay, that's just, that just wraps around. Without a hair on my head hurt. Awesome.
Now, it's hard to tell right now, but Somsnosa is actually the, um, going to have the highest toughness in the- the highest toughness. Somsnosa is going to have the highest attack power of the party. Because when it says things can be converted into mightiness, it's referring to those little- those little white insect creatures. Everywhere. So I think... I don't know if these guys count. I don't think they do. I mean, I have I have gauntlets on, so I should, in theory, be able to consume these white creatures and gain their power. Maybe it's a different button. I think I think Desdemon is supposed to be the first party member. <laughs> I'm just I did things horribly out of order again, but I can just go back to where I was. <laughs> I like how this thing isn't even given a name; it's just called creature. just gonna insta-kill me. It's the creature. Sad. I think it's three times? Yeah. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. Uh, I guess you qualify. Good job. You may proceed. The Bestial Axe. There we are. Now I can actually deal damage. Look at that, look at that increase in mightiness from 16 to 45. It's, it's, it's a little strong. Squish, squish. A reservoir of clear liquid atop a pedestal. It's some kind of machine from the old times. The technology is far beyond your ken. At least for now. Nosa is somewhere around here in the town? I don't even remember. Frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. I haven't played Roblox in probably 10 years. I'm gonna be honest. It's actually not AI generated, funnily enough. It's just that like the nouns some of the nouns and verbs get swapped around with they they there's just like a big list of random nouns and verbs. These are enemies. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's not AI generated. I'll 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 stick to that. Uh-oh. 
I mean, to be fair, what is an AI? What is AI really? AI, and AI is just a machine that has some data and does things with that data. So it's, I don't think that description was wrong. I don't think it, I, I think you could consider it AI. excited for uh, playing Hilux 2, because I played this before, and I did kind of a crap job playing it. I have actually have not touched Hilux 2, so that'll be fun. Roblox? Roblox is such a weird thing. Because I've, my sort of stereotype for what Roblox is, is either what pe random people have said about it, just like in on the peripheral from Discord servers that I've joined. And my experience with it from 10 years ago, and that's it. <laughs> the cup, you found it. Oh, right, I forgot. This is the, this is the, um, Desdemol, or Dedesmol, I don't know how the heck you pronounce these names. Um, this is how you actually, um, use the paper cups. I'm an, e I'm an expert in the usage of the paper cup. Please allow me to accompany you. One day we may come across another artifact from the old times, which will require the paper cup. What if? Magnificent. I will guide you when the time comes. We can use the paper cup with this machine. Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid, fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it, and... Your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Right. So, remember when I said that I skipped this party member before? That means that I got no SP increases the entire run. <laughs> Yeah, the, the issue with Roblox, it's a very similar um, sort of problem as kids YouTube, but there is stuff on there that is genuinely cool and, like, creative. And a lot of it is just Elsa Spider-Man shit that's very, uh, it, it certainly is something. Yeah, and it's all, it's, it's Lua, so you spend time, do, you spend they have 18 plus games now. That's all. That is a. That's horrible. I'll be honest. Because <laughs> God knows, God knows, uh, people aren't gonna respect the fact that it's 18 plus. Oh shit! This is the thing that counterattacks you. I should have been paying attention. Please don't kill something. this game actually gives you healing items. I, I always... The thing that was always very concerning about Lisa is that Lisa... You just get no healing items for most of the game. Or you get you get healing items, but they're so sparse that you're better off just not using them and either waiting until a campfire or just letting your party, member, party members die because Phoenix Downs end up healing more anyway.
Are the audio levels okay, by the way? Can you can y'all hear the hear the game fine? There's a point in killing everything here because I mean all I get from it is the meat, right? Oh <laughs> hi? <laughs> He's just walking around. Space shurikens. I again never never walked around up here, so that's new to me. wonder the difficulty curve was so messed up for me when I first played this. It's the half the... <laughs> I missed an entire early game area. Okay, I guess I can't sleep on that couch. Whatever. I can just crash on the couch at my house. Or, pardon me. In my domicile. Mysterious Tower. I don't know why, I always felt kind of, kind of iffy about people under the age of 18 uh, look, seeing things that are meant for people above the age of 18, even though I know full well that I've, I probably when I was around that age, probably found more than my fair share of stuff that was not meant for my age, and I turned out okay. So I don't know what I'm compl I don't know what I'm worried about. Holds dominion over the bugs. She says this world is is his flabby domicile, and she is promise. Esteemed archaeologist from Devador of the Burning City enjoys bungling accidentally near glands. Alright. Uh, this vault is off limits. Please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. It's like, I'm gonna have to destroy you if you don't leave. You made me do this. Must tell a day, I summon thee. Behold, the weasels. <laughs> I've heard that these guys are weak to falling asleep. Never confirmed it. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I mean that's the reason why I'm kind of I'm very skeptical about the Roblox 18 plus thing. It's like kids are gonna find their way past it, and once they do, they're gonna see things that they really that they're gonna that they wish they hadn't seen. <laughs> Confused all of them. Very lucky. they to be fair i imagine they had that stuff before they just didn't openly call it those things before but i, I imagine yeah but it, it is concerning but i imagine that kind of stuff was there before it just didn't go by that name but now they don't really now they don't really have to pretend like um for kids. Um. Oh, it's evasion raid. Looks like the stats are the same otherwise. <laughs> I didn't even see I didn't even see these stats before. Mightiness, texture, jollity, cooking, guts and philo philology. Okay. <laughs> Never heard of philology. Is this dark flame? Oh, it's detonation. That's also very good. It's a slow attack whip that does high damage. That's excellent. Yeah, it is concerning. It just reminds me of the um like the Minecraft mods that add in like drugs <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely meant for those for for those kind of people that, that are too that are um what's the best word for it the kind of people who are too young to come across that kind of stuff naturally but are old enough that they're easily drawn in by the look this is this has drugs and violence isn't that gnarly that kind of stuff yeah, I, I was almost specifically thinking of the girlfriend mod. <laughs> this thing controls the harbor gate. Well, I, I don't know if I'll be able to beat this, but I'm definitely going to try. God, I hate 
keep I keep pressing the wrong button for um, select versus cancel. But they're like slightly shifted over from what I'm used to. <laughs> hey, wa watch it. This game is corny in a very good way. It is the most weird psychedelic nonsense you will have ever seen. I think it's great. There we go. It also has a sequel, which is way better and less rough, which is, um, better and also less rough around the edges. I think they're, they're both good in their own way, but, you know. Tyranny and ZZZs rose like a platinum pain in the freeze. Damn. I'm pretty sure it's not it's not coded to always rhymes. That was just random <laughs> random bar of rhymes. Very cute. It's not ideal. Wayne laments many apparels, but will he rescue your corrosion? Far beyond skeletons, soak the wandering promise. Near tyrannies, shun the sustenance. Meanwhile at the Moon Palace, Gibby laments. Soon its plastic spirit will be delicately lamented. Yet every engine extracts the motile apparel, and every sustenance is like hollowed vacuum. This game has two modes and both both of them are great. It's either the most insane dialogue you've ever heard or the most dude like the most dude bro kind of dialogue that you've ever heard. Like, hey bro, what's up man? <laughs> how not much, how about you? It's either complete gibberish or it's the most like colloquial non-serious dialogue you've ever heard. It's great. Love this game. The bobolinks at noonday sing more softly than the softest flute, and lightlier than the lightest lute, their fairy timbres ring. <laughs> okay, he's dropping. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's doing a silly dance that is definitely an enemy. I'm gonna come back to him. I forget where you get that combination. I know you get it somewhere. Psst. Hey, squirrel food. I've got your squirrel food. 2,000 bucks for some squirrel food. Deals like this come once in a lifetime. How much money do I have? Oh, I'm, I've got plenty. I think I remember what to do with this stuff. That there's a there's a squirrel back in Wayne's house that I can go talk to and give them the squirrel food and they'll give me it's like a squirrel medal or something I don't remember for sure some sort of accessory 
There's our little guy. Head Squirrel, that's the name of it. Prevents negative status effects. That is really good. And then Bad Juju for 20% chance of poison. Probably put that on Somsnosa. Right, this is this is that combination. Hang up. Let me grab a let me get a pencil real fast and some paper so I can write this crap down. So it's like that symbol. That symbol weird loop-de-loop, -loop, and the weird rainbow. Also, oh, I, I guess I could have just remembered it, because it is right, it is right here. So much for writing it down, I guess. Oh shit, Pongorma! I forgot this is where he is. Oh, I'm about to clown on this man. Hey, Pongorma, what's up? I'm called Pongorma. Greatest of the Dread Knights of Yithor, through long ages I have waited in this vault. Fight me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Prepare yourself. I literally just got on Dark Flame. He's it's gonna get schmucked. Damages all enemies slightly stronger than normal attack. So, I mean, I'm tempted to just use it on all three guys, but it does cost a lot. is like, I mean, to be expected, is really weird. In Hylix 2, the music goes really hard. It is incredibly good.
I am defeated. Very well. I will follow you and I will follow you and aid you in your violent endeavors. By the way, I have dominion over the ambulance skulls. You didn't fear their deadly touch any longer. And just like that, the one thing in the game that can instantly kill us can no longer instantly kill us. not even an encounter, that's the guy that gives you squirrel food. Hell yeah. Is there anything here besides the symbols? No. It's a token receptacle, but you don't have a token. The TV's dormant. Oh, right. You need... I, I need the, um... What are these? It's like the uh, tokens of the sages. There are three sages that I have to find, and all of them have uh, tokens that I can get from them. I put them all in there, and then I move on to the third and, f I think, final act. I might be able to get through all of this today. Ugh, that's... that is unsavory. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> the enemies in here are really irritating to deal with, so hopefully I can get through just fine. the game will remind me how, da how freaking cool the um, animations are in battle. But I'm... I I'm getting better at avoiding the RPG maker the RPG maker angry sort of AI mentally preparing myself for walking around in the Delta, Ju Delta Judgment world. I think that's what I'm going to do on Saturday. And that's going to be rough, but whatever. Oh. These guys are irritating. I don't think they're invincible, they just have really, really high evasion. Mm -hmm. 
there you are. Oh, great blindness on top of that. <laughs> Excellent. Try and kill one of these. Okay. Oh, all the others, I'm just gonna run away. That's that's irritating. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not... It doesn't get free attacks off or anything. That was terrible. Ah, there's no iframes on escape in combat. Good to know. Uh, am I just stuck here? I think I am just stuck here. Yeah, may as well just fight it. of all ally health is really good. <laughs> Just use that idly. Blinded too. excited for these next few days because I'm going to be making I'm going to be making a video to upload to my, to the channel that's about AI it's like I, I've said the funny buzzword because I am I, I am a computer science person and the, the state the absolute state of education and just general understanding of computer science is really depressing. 
So I figured I may as well do something. I think I missed a switch, I don't know where. Up here? Yeah, there you are. I know it won't be mu it w I know it won't be too much, but you know, I want to make a video, at least attempting to teach people about AI, because God knows, God knows the um, people at OpenAI don't want people to understand how AI works. They want to, they want people to understand how it works just enough so that they can sell them the stuff that they're selling them. God. What? Okay. <laughs> so they don't just go in circles. Oh, he is just stuck. Hmm. I guess I just wait for these other ones to filter out? Or are they... Okay, they're not going to. above me, and the earth green at my feet. Oh life, oh life, I kept saying, and the very words seemed sweet. Oh. Oh. What crudely pardons their chemical inside ray? Shrunken creature. He just, <laughs> he just got turned into sludge. What happened there? say. Oh god. 75 mightiness. Come on. Okay. I had to deal with this thing, but not the green guy. I'm fine with that. We still have so many vegetables. They're they're pulling their way. Are these enemies? I don't think they are. Oh god, it's this place, right? I have died a lot here. I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. I'm strengthening my leg muscles so I can run past them. Another pain thanks to tyranny. That's Biscuit's shining hope. Brother, what are you talking about? <laughs> the biscuit's shining hope. That's the one that moves. Yep. Um, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. If I take a wrong turn, I'm going to die. Because this one also moves. Yep. Oh my god. I may as well be speedrunning this game. Good grief. I'm already on Act 3. At last, the wheel is extruded. Out of platinum arts, Wayne is arrogantly singing a pain amidst corrosions. But it's above mere gastropods and passions. Your psychic vent will not be embraced. 
And now the time for Concrete Passion Prisons draws to an end. Gibby, weaponized, blasts, blasts miraculously of the Blue Lunar Fortress. This behavior yearns for homunculus in the product. Amiss the lard. I'm not going to pretend I understand what they're talking about. But now I get the airship, which is nice. Music that plays when you the music that plays when you get this thing initial or when you get this thing in a Hilux two is a uh, prevailing westerlies and it is some of the some of the best video game music I've heard in a really long time. It's just so it's so funky and jazzy in an amazing way. music up until this point. I, I don't want to go so far as to call it penis music, but it's certainly... It's not exactly a symphony. <laughs> it's very, very weird. Very weird and scattered. But the music for the, the um... The music for the airship in the later part in the um, Hilux 2 is real, really good. Oh, shit! <laughs> right. So you think you can consider my hope? That you can just lament my furnace? You can't do that. Oh, hit it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Look, just look at the sprite and look at this entire area. I think that's Gibby over there. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw this before. That's awesome. What you got for me, Gibby? Oh, mountain. I'm so remember and rendered right now. Hey, and a juice pack. Excellent. Shall I recite the music tutorial? Oh my god. <laughs> Use keys 1 to 4 to play notes and key 5 to change your stop to change style. Or don't. It's your life. You can also coerce the bandmates into playing their instruments by pressing the space bar while facing them. Try it, maybe. That is that is awesome. <laughs> this is just a, that's just a random one-off room. Uh, I think only thing left to do now is to gather the stones of the not the stones, gather the like things. The lever is off limits. I don't recommend push pushing the button either. Please don't touch the lever. Thank you. It's worth a shot, right? Please stop pushing the button. Time to give this guy a migraine. I'll give you these muscle appliques. Just stop pushing the button. Ooh. I haven't been using these. 
evenly distribute between Wayne and Som Snosa, I guess, because Pongorm has already got more than enough. Now, I think, if I remember correctly... That spot in particular... Oh, right, this is, uh, this is Som's Gnosis house. That spot in particular, at the, at, uh, at the very end of the game during the credits, those, like, little blobs of clay pop up to form the, the title of the game, if I remember correctly. And now that I have Pon Gorma, I can just completely ignore these guys. Now, do I start the next part of the game, or do I go looking for the sages? I think I start looking for the sages. Might be a lost cause, but I I'm willing to. I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> that dude is very stuck. They do do a lot of damage. I'm gonna be honest, I am kind of just mindlessly attacking because I'm waiting to die. Because when I die, I can actually process all this meat and get a bunch of max health. And hey, if I make progress while I'm doing that, that's great. took, I believe it was the leftmost path. God, these, the, the, these areas are super cool. Just the, the fact that they're just giant, giant creatures. I don't even know what to call these. It's walking around the bones of titans. Oops. Hello, tomb shrub. seemingly showing up more than no normal for this. <laughs> Not to say that this isn't great, but of all the things for people to suddenly appear for, I wasn't expecting it to be Hylix. Because I, I think this game is also pretty niche. Also, just for lack of a better word, I wonder where all the I wonder where all the younger the younger viewers are even coming from. Definitely seems like they're coming from somewhere. Was maybe it's the 4D golf? Me, right. I'm gonna bang my head against this for a second to see to see what all is over here.
Hey, paper cup. Now I see. Is this one of the sages or is this a boss? It's the sage, awesome. It's the sage of death, I grant you my token. Seek my siblings, the sage of brains and the sage of death. Uh, you are the sage, okay. <laughs> they will also give you tokens. For therein lies the path to enlightenment. That line <laughs> presumably was copy pasted from the third sage. All right, death time. There's already just one crystal remaining. I am cruising through this game way faster than I thought I would. Oh wait, I haven't gone to I haven't gone to that house in the bottom right yet. so much when I first played this. I'm... Oh. The contents are not useful. It's okay, so it's just someone took a dump in there. Great. Hey, I got horse food. I might be persuaded to part with it for 3,000 bucks. Deals like this come once in a lifetime. With those kind of shady salesmen, I always think of the... Um... I forget what, what kind of NPC they are from um, from the last resort in Amori. The stuff they sell, they say that this is a once in a lifetime offer. And then if you say no and walk back up to them, they'll raise the price. <laughs> and it's just complete junk that they're selling. Just by, by virtue of you saying no, that was enough of a reason for them to raise the price, even though what they're selling is literal trash. Okay, so now I have now I have a horse. <laughs> Increases chance of preemptive attack. Raises mightiness by 20 points. That also seems crazy good. Put that on Sans Nosa. Ice cream man? Can I interest you in hot dogs? Or perhaps a spaceship key? Where the hell am I gonna get a hundred thousand stuff for? For this? Um, yeah, okay, I figured. It feels weird to have cone cultists all the way over here, but maybe they're just, maybe they're stronger? Nope, okay. Thank you. I 
I try my best to be optimistic. That hasn't come back to bite me yet. Maybe it will someday. What on earth am I looking at? Mechanized theories will tether that text, but plastic worlds will levitate of your glance. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Witness out of this flabby mandible. You must be the new foreman. Check in with Clawman before you head to the lab. Oh, I remember this now. This guy. This is how you get the money for the spaceship key, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I, I never got that. Nice to finally meet you. If you'll just give me the password, I can get you set up in the lab. Truth. Uh, did you forget it or something? I'll give you another chance. What is the password? I love how it's- <laughs> I love how it, this is also randomized. Mandible Embrace. It's not that either. Stop joking around. This is your final chance. Theory. Theory? Who are you? Prepare to be destroyed. This is the first real boss to my- to my memory. So I need to be a little bit careful. Oh! Oh, cute. I, I didn't even stop to look at that. So, it's really hard to tell with RPG Maker because there's, there is, um, let's see. There's RPG Maker 2000, 2003, XP, VX Ace, MV, and I, if you want to count Unity, you can, but that one's, I don't even think Unity's out yet. So, there's so many different, like, generations of RPG Maker games, all, like, you can tell that a game is an RPG Maker game, but past that you have to, like, dig deeper into the weeds to find out which RPG Maker game it is. First version was RP was a uh, 2000, but 2003 is also a, like 2000 and 2003 are the super popular versions because I I don't know where this sort of idea came from, but at a certain point, it just feels like people got tired of the combat aspect of RPG Maker games and were like, hang on, what if we just made puzzle games? Or games that are puzzle focused. So you end up with this entire subset of um, RPG Maker games that have no combat in them whatsoever. And that's where you get the stuff like Yuma Nikki. And I'm not entirely sure if games like Off would be better without combat, but. I mean, Yuma Nikki is definitely better without combat. I don't know how that would even work. selected these specimens for their exceptionally high monetization potential. Okay, I, I mean, it looks like I'm gonna miss the sages, but frankly, I'm not really sure that I care. Well, the music's so weird. <laughs> I 
can't really think of a way to describe it besides psychedel psychedelic. And I mean, that's a, it's a whole genre. I'm not sure about attention. I, I, I do like being... I, I like being smaller. Entering the palace is forbidden. Leave now or be destroyed. You accidentally crushed it. This whole part of the game is weirdly, weirdly poignant. His microcosm? What batters his microcosm? It's battering with this plastic season. Okay, dude. I, unfortunately I don't have any consoles because I'm actually, I'm at college right now. So all, what, what consoles I do have are all back home. So I'm, I'm rocking with just the PC right now. poignant about this part of the game because you're just you're too strong everything that you were you were uh, fearing before is just squished beneath your feet turn back it's terribly powerful i'm not sure if it's referring to me or gimme i guess we'll see I love the design of this thing. I get that he's supposed- I think he's supposed to be a, um... To, to give the goose away a little bit. These two characters are supposed to be the, um, phases of the moon. Yeah, this is- this, this is the final boss of the game. <laughs> it's hard to tell. These two are supposed to be the phases of the moon. Gibby as in the gibbous moon, and Wayne as in the waning- the waning crescent. So this entire game is a explanation. It's like a like a tribal explanation for the phases of the moon. It's cool as hell. You dare approach me? My texts will purify your dirts until you beg me to exult. Now sing thine sentimental being. It is the last time you will. This fight is actually kind of scary, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my dynamite now <laughs> and deal with the consequences. I love that animation is so damn cool. No! 
dancing gremlins got him. time I died and there was also a crystal right there so I'm, I'm completely fine to just leave and come back Okay, I have 101 meat. That ne next fight is gonna go way better. I'm not gonna have the dynamite. Oh, new text. Amid the jellies forgets the mammoth. The life with their homunculus meowth. Far below my shrunken surf. just jumping right back in and seeing how it goes. It's just now, this time, instead of using all dynamite, instead of using dynamite, I'm just gonna use dark flame. Kind of, kind of tempted to use bubbles, but... A vital statue can can uh, do ailment guards. That's probably not wise. Oh right, this is a thing. HP. Hmm. I think I wait. Wow, Bongorm is fast. <laughs> He's way faster than I thought. Vital statue is just a bad idea because it's gonna keep doing hollow pleather. So when everything else is going on, I, I think I'm just I should just attack something else. Let's go for the eerie statue. I'll 
admit the animations are awesome, but in a fight like this, they sure do take up a lot of time. Positive status effects works with ailment guard. I wonder if it actually does remove it. going to sit there and be fat, so I think I just ignore it completely. Um, I really don't, unfortunately. I wish there was a better way to tell. The problem with a lot of RPG Maker games is that there's no health, there's no health bars for enemies. I think they added that functionality later on. But even if, even in Amori, that's, it doesn't do that, so I, I don't think they ever did. Stop using the gremlins, I beg of you. Session isn't that bad. Because I can just use health chan and heal back the damage. Because 
because I mean something else that comes to mind. I was talking about I was talking about Roblox earlier, and how it's it kind of concerns me when people who are young are on those kinds of sites. It just reminds me that Amori is definitely not meant for people younger than probably like 15 or 16, and yet I see some people who are younger than 15 or 16 play that game. And it's mostly, it's like a good chunk of them are people of that age bracket. And it scares me, because that game was traumatizing for me. <laughs> so, seeing like, oh, I'm in freshman year of high school and I played Amori, it's like, Ugh. You do you, I guess, but it's... At least to me, that's kind of mortifying. That that game messed me up, and I'm... That, that game messed me up when I was in, in freshman year of college. God, this fight is taking forever. Stop it with the gremlins, please. Please. Maybe I actually have to go and find the sages or something. Um, so Amori is a real, a very, very good RPG Maker game made in RPG Maker MV, released, I think, 2021, right? Oh, trust me, this one's... <laughs> It isn't real. It isn't really a matter of age. It's a matter of there is some messed up stuff in this game. It's like the, the older you are, the more mentally prepared you are. Ah. I forget the last time that I played it. That I played the game. It was gotta be like a year ago at this point. Trouble is, it's, it is re the, the tr main trouble is that it's really long. Because the main thing you, the main thing you want to know about that game is that it was in development for. I think as long it it was it started development around the same year that Undertale started development, and considering that Undertale released in I think like 2016, 2017. Amori released in 2020, somewhere between 2020 and 2021. My, I, I forget the exact time. But on one hand, on one hand, it is really, really, really polished. But on the other hand, it's also kind of bloated because there's, there's just so much stuff in that game. I mean, frankly, frankly, you can. You can probably find other people, other people's playthroughs of it. Because it's very popular, a lot of people have played it. Though I do have to warn you, it's one of those games that, should you seek it out, it's one of those games where you kind of just have to ignore the community and just play the game, either, like, either play the game by yourself, like, ask for it for Christmas or something. Christmas of 2020, okay, so. Ask for it for, like, your Christmas or your birthday or something, and then just, like, play through it yourself, ignore the community, ignore what other people have to say say about it. Go into the game as blind as you can. And that will make the game a lot more enjoyable. Oh, yeah, that makes it... I mean, it's on Switch, so if you have a Switch, that works. Is there anything over here? I think it's just... I think this is just the... This is just Gibby. It might be on PS4? I can check, hang on.
Uh, yeah, it is on PS4. here that I missed or was it just a is it just a straight shot because I like I, I missed two of the three sages and presumably the sages have something that I want roach food Ooh. I don't remember where the roaches are but I, I do remember there are roaches on the icon of the game. I don't think so. I'm trying I'm trying to remember like I, I definitely not, but I'm trying to remember what game you're even referring to. The only thing that comes to mind is that um, what's the, what's the name of the stupid game? Gar Garden of Ban Ban, I think? That one, that one crappy mascot horror game. It's like... Dime a dozen mascot horror games. There are very, there are a lot of them. They sure do exist. There is stuff over here that I didn't I didn't do. But what was that text? I just mashed through it. Oh yeah. There's a reason why I said to use caution when playing it, or just even just looking up stuff about it. Because to give you an idea, that is, the, like, that's from the trailer. Like, imagine how... Imagine how freaky the whole game is if the trailer is like that. The entire game has that kind of atmosphere of really cute and really like cute and cuddly and happy on the surface and then you go deeper below the surface and it's traumatizing oh it could be it could be Aoni that they're thinking of oh god that game <laughs> if it's Aoni if it's Aoni I don't really recommend it I'll be honest I didn't have much fun with that game at all. But it is... It is a game from that old time period of making games in RPG Maker that were more like puzzles. So it aligns with what I was talking about earlier, but it's... It is a certain way of... bolstering its playtime. <laughs> Just, hey, there's a demon that's chasing you now. If it touches you, you game over. I hope you saved. Having to walk in and out of doors over and over again to make the guy make the demon despawn, and then having to go back through half the half the house to find one thing that you missed, and then rinse and repeat for the next basically the next two and a half hours. It's not my favorite. Expect to be more annoyed than afraid. Maybe, maybe I'm just being cynical. I imagine uh, the reason why it's on... Oh, oh yeah, this guy. The reason why it's on Ro it has a Roblox re uh, recreation is that that game was... There was a set of old games, of old RPG Maker games that got noticed by YouTubers. 
and ended up getting played by YouTubers around basically a little after they came out. And it's how games like Yuminiki got their recognition at first. Oh, oops. Can I run? I can run. I actually didn't know that I could. Okay. Sniff thine massive dirt. It is the last time you will. I think I'm just gonna... Is there a reason not to just focus down Gibby? So, like, I have... I have everything that I need to succeed, I think. I could have been cheesing this boss this whole time. This is an RPG Maker game. I just have to use things that deal percentage damage. That's the, the, the common thing. Oh my god, again. These gremlins, man. These gremlins. But that attack did 625 damage, so doing the math, that's what? 2,500 health, right? Sounds right. Please, please don't do reconstitution again. Great, more more gremlins though. Procession is really scary here. At least it healed. At least it uh, got rid of the confusion.
statue. It's just doing that it's just doing that nonsense automatically. Well, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> Please, thanks. Okay. Yes, okay. Now I can actually start doing things. Can we deal with the eerie statue next? I should have just gone with my gut and killed the healer first. Gremlins. Okay, now this should be easy. I'm not gonna say easy, but it's definitely it's going to be easier. I know half of it has been spent on this boss, but I, I've been- I've had a lot of fun with this. Uh-oh. That's killing something. That's also killing something.
you effing for? I'm winning. Yes, I think I am. giving me more grief than the first time I fought it, and again, the first time I fought this boss I was missing a party member and most of the most of the good equipment. So I'm not sure how I got by so so freely last time. Gremlins again, I'm dead. I'm dead. Come on, man. You got cheesed out right at the end. That's annoying. Whatever. We can try again. I have a strategy, I just need to get more stuff from the from the shop in the main hub. And then I just need to get some hot dogs, and that'll be- that'll be more than enough. Oh, this is the wrong way. I mean... On one hand, that sucks. On the other hand, I now know exactly what I have to do. I just focused on the vital one, then I focused on the eerie one, then I just focused on Gibby. Because most of that last attempt was just me banging my head into Gibby, thinking like, oh, why is he healing so much? You know, I probably should have, probably should have wondered. Should not have wondered as much. But I have 600,000 bucks, so, like, you know, I feel like I'm fine. Just get a bunch of dynamite and get some hollow pleather for the for people that don't have stuff yet. Allows wearer to wield two weapons. Oh! Uh, no, um, game over didn't revert the save. Let's see. Okay, so he... Okay, so Som Somtonosa can't dual wield. You can. You also can.
What's the best way to do this? Summon the airship. And then I get... I wish there was a faster way to get to Gibby. All right, see ya. Should be over relatively soon. I just gotta get more, get more hot dogs, and then give it another old college try. And that'll be fine. No juice, no juice packs, unfortunately, but not much I can do there. can do actually hang on where are the statues I think they're he here yeah I just need to walk up to one of the statues and die then I could just use the teleporters in, in the afterlife Awesome. I'm just. I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not doing it the best service, but it, this isn't a great game. And I also said that I would play Hylix too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play it immediately. It is sort of the last time you will. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so sometimes. So eventually he'll just, he won't even say it is the last time you will. It's, oh, well, it's sort of the last time you will. Uh. Okay. Dynamite. 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 And partial destruct on the statue. I think that'll be enough to just instantly kill the, the statue. Or at least stun- if nothing else, it'll stun them. Hey, speaking of stun, yippee! to get into this game because it's the art style is cool but it is very 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 bizarre fishing for the stun chance.
realize uh, that stun chance is never happening because of the mystic meat, but it is damage to all, which is also really nice. <laughs> they, that, that is, yeah, that is just nuclear test footage. There's the gremlins again. Just, above all else, do not kill Wayne. If I if Wayne goes down, I think I lose. Because all the others are just gonna die to attacking each other like idiots. Exactly like that. <laughs> sake. I'm hanging on by a thread. Because he just keeps... Stop attacking Wayne, please. stocked up on those hot dogs, because oh my god. I just need to get in a position where I can comfortably attack without getting insta-gibbed by Gibby here. But he's just gonna use dancing gremlins every turn, I fear. Now I can actually do things. No, so you're killing me here. Actually, in a position where I can do things. This this fight should be over very quickly.
taken a second, but this, uh, this, damage, o this damage over time will be the real killer. Doing it, it took away more than I was expecting. And look at that! I got XP! Ugh. So I am defeated. Wayne, I'm sorry about everything. <laughs> By the way, I set this moon to explode when I die. Say your prayers, and levitate your homunculus. Like, jelly life. Televised, totally adrift, desires the government of the Vent Luxury. Far beyond the arts, a mountain considers rapidly, or doth my concavity thrum inside prisons. So ends the tale of the shrunken chemicals, who sought to bleed, yet sort of totally harked my ray. Last thing I'll do before I stop, because th that is just the end of the game. Let me go back to the rock room. It's slightly annoying that it spawns all the way over there, but there's not much I can do about that. Yeah, this was... It was... Two, two and a half hours? Not that long at all. Oh, so this isn't even Gibby. This is just dude with Gibby face. Alex 2 is a lot longer, from what I understand. It's a lot longer, more varied gameplay. It's more of an RPG. So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that, but I think uh, next thing on the list is going to be actually finishing To the Moon, but that's that's only going to take like an hour, because I think there's only, there's only an hour, somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half left in that game. So I'll just do that in one session. But yeah, I think that'll do it for me. This was super fun, though. 
I'm looking forward to Hilux 2. I'm also looking forward to the other games down the list. Because if I remember correctly, let, let me find my... I have, the, I have the list somewhere. Uh, we got To the Moon, In Stars and Time, um, we got a mystery game, which I'm gonna be completely honest, that mystery game, not even I know what it is. I have a lot of games that I'm kind of like half-heartedly wanting to stream, but also not really, and I'm just gonna put them all in a wheel and see what happens. And then after that one, we'll be Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. So I got a lot of indie RPGs up my sleeve for later. But that's all I got for now, I think. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go probably take a nap or do something. Take it easy, y'all.